Thank you, on there, fellas. You're kidding. Got a bit of a treat here for you. It's the 12 Uzo. My old man used to drink Uzo at one stage, and he reckons this was the best one. And I didn't really like the taste when I was young, teenager. And then as I got older, I sort of warmed up to it. And he did funny things with it. He'd have it with Coke and with water. I'm just going to have a straight little sip first. I can drink that straight. That is delicious, so smooth, 40%. I've got the litre bottle. I picked it up this morning at Melbourne Airport on the way back from Jakarta. And a lady gave me a voucher, gave me $5 off. So that cost me $35. A litre bottle, 40%. You're fucking kidding me. a small 700 ml bottle and I think they've dropped it to 38 if you can find it it's not easy to find anymore in Melbourne but I think it's 42 bucks for a small bottle and I think I did all right anyway it's bloody delicious with water I've got mineral water with it now that's delicious I don't mind it with mineral water uh, coke's bloody delicious but it's not that good for you so I'm not going to do a coke one might have one tomorrow. But anyway, it's raining. You can't fucking believe it. I had to go to Jakarta and drag the rain back here. It hasn't rained here for a month. I think we've got five mil in a month. So I said, that's enough. And I went to bloody Jakarta. I just got back. And it was pissing down over there, not all day, but it was hot as fuck and steamy and stinky, it was sweaty. Great pool, you know, but um, air conditioned five star hotel, so there's no problem about the heat. But uh, shit, it rained in the afternoon with the electrical tropical storm. And then it fined up by about five, six o'clock, there was no rain, so it was absolutely beautiful it just cooled the place down washed away all the dust and the pollution so that was good i think it's the worst pollution in the world jakarta but last month chiang mai knocked it off isn't that funny i think you'd like jakarta guys it's um international city it's got some great restaurants hotels and the price, the price is ridiculous. Some things are that cheap. Taxis, taxis were, were ridiculous. I think it cost three dollars to go like 10, 12 minutes from the hotel, three dollars. And then on the way back, it took like 15 or 20 minutes because of the rain and the traffic at peak hour. And it was only five dollars. That's cheap as button. So it's the old, Bangkok, the new Bangkok, Jakarta, you're kidding me, nice, I had a great time, good to see the rain, everything was just about dead, parched, everything was parched, not dead, parched, this Uzo's going down well guys, I really love it, I come through and I'm thinking to get a bottle of, a good bottle of gin, like blue sapphire or better, you know, something real decent, and I just saw this, I thought, that'll do. You get a really good high off Uzo, it's a different high. Same as um, that green drink, green fairy, what is it? You're kidding, absinthe, that knocks your fucking socks off. You don't know what you're doing, you can't remember what you did. That not mean one night anyway. But yeah, this is a similar thing, it's, if you drink enough you won't remember anything anyway. But, I say you get a good feeling after Uzo compared to the feeling you get off uh, maybe drinking whiskey or drinking red wine. Beer's a different story. You got your hop high. So actually beer's a, a different high and can be pretty full on and nice. You, know, you don't need to have too many good beers to really 
kick in and feel good. You know, you go, ooh, that's bloody decent. The hops. It's like a, more of a mind high. I think Uzo's a bit the same. It just gets in there and does something a little bit more special than the other spirits. Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, I watched a few videos and I hear that a lot. That's a bit of a trip out, isn't it? The comments below, there's fucking nothing below me. Except for hell. The ground, the deck at the moment. Fuck, kidding. Anyway, glad to be back in Melbourne. I nearly didn't get on the fucking plane. I nearly... <laughs> let run else on and said, oh, nah, you're not coming. And I had, like, this young girl that looked like a first time on the computer screen and doesn't understand the... Uh, you get a rating, and I, I've got a 51 rating. She said, no, we've got to let on these other 50s rating people hang on a minute didn't you notice he's 51 oh okay well let him win what a fucking beauty i'll let you know about that another day could have cost her a job and then nah, i if i got left there i might have got a sack but anyway it is what it is i made it home dog and cat are happy not the cats How's that looking? The elephant palm's looking good. Dog's in there. The cat was there before. The above come to watch me do the video. You're fucking kidding me, aren't you? Bit of a mess over here. Need to clean up. Oh, we just got back, so there's dust and shit everywhere. This is looking alright. They start going red now, the old um, Nandinas. They look pretty nice at the moment. I'm pretty happy with that. Gives a bit of a um, yeah, contrast. Oh, the things are nearly dead. That's sort of hanging in there. A few things are still going all right. Bananas. We've got bananas on the bottom one this year. That's trippy. I did a bit of work over there the other day. Trimmed up a few natives and stuff. Probably do a bit more work, but yeah. Just going to do it all at once. Move around the garden. It's all looking good over there. Looking wet as fuck over there. Down the valley, we just had thunder and lightning. That'll be good for the garden. All good guys. Happy fucking nights. Happy nights. Your fucking kidding has changed. It's not happy days anymore. It's a happy night. It's getting dark. Fuck kidding. You're off your trops. One Uzo. A couple of billies, you fucking tripping. See ya.